once the flow direction computation is completed you will see the image of eight directions and all of those eight directions are also codified uh, with various colors your your colors might be different but um, there will be eight colors now again you can remove the fill layer because this layer is no longer needed um, we have the flow directions and that's all we need to build on top of this to get flow accumulation and create a stream network at this point um, you should look at some of these um, uh, regions and look at the background image and see how different parts of the the area especially the mountains the slopes of the mountains have the same uh, direction of flow and you will see that it would match the directions um, specified by these colors and you can look at the number and see using this uh, this uh, coding to see if it's a west facing slope or an east facing slope so on and so forth the next step is to find flow accumulation so for this purpose again go to our catalog spatial analyst hydrology and there's a tool called flow accumulation now this one uh, needs flow directions as the input data and it will produce an output that we can call um, FACC flow accumulation now we will get the flow accumulation in floating point because we are going to do some computation with it um, and this weight raster is optional. Um, this weight can be um, in the accumulation process, for example, delays in each pixel. But we are not going to worry about that at this point, so just click OK. Um, and this process probably is the longest process in, in this uh, lab. It may take a couple of minutes, it may take five minutes, depending upon your computer. So be patient. Um, flow accumulation will appear soon.